Hello, welcome back. It is time to go on our adventure to Utah. <laughs> 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 We're right at the back. I thought we'd put us right at the back because we are the naughty kids, aren't we? Very naughty, very naughty. <laughs> Let's show you what I got, what we yep. got in duty free. But it, um, not duty free because it's not really duty free. It wasn't really. You don't get money off anymore. No, not because of that the thing. all the Brexit stuff. I think. I mean, I don't know if that's a definite fact, I but I had money. That's probably in the departure lounge. We did some shopping, and this mm. is what we bought. Yes. I have wanted to get the full size version of Replica Autumn Vibes for a very long time because I had the mini one and a Ladies little. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Delta Flight 51 now with service to Salt Lake City. As you're getting settled, they thought, you know what, if they've got it there, I'm going to get it. So I got it. So this oh, this is going to be the scent of the trip. So I was debating whether to bring my Sol de Janeiro body oil. I also remembered that I didn't have any SPF. So it's a body oil of built-in SPF and it's got fragrance in it. We both got this book. Buy one, get one half price. And we both thought we'll buy a book because we've got a long flight ahead of us. And this has been recommended by, uh, I've got a group chat, which is a camping group chat, but it's turned into smut club. So <laughs> they're all reading this, this franchise or this whatever. What do you call a group of books? Sizzles of sexual tension. That's to me when Oh, this, <laughs> that's what caught your eye. Yeah. And then, sweetie wise, we've got some yeah. mints, M&Ms. Yeah, I don't want to get anything with peanuts in because of, you know, plain one of those. But you got, wait, wait, mm -hmm. what did you get? Go I on. I got, well, these are sort of, well, no, sweet corn. Then I got, I want to be a bit healthy, so I got a green. I love this one, it's my favourite. Oh, yeah. I followed Helen's suit and got the, uh, on her recommendation, got the black amber plum and vanilla woods. Yeah. Skittles. A track bar that you also got, didn't you? <laughs> same book, same bar. <laughs> the BB. But that's it. Really simple. Right, so I think we're slightly delayed, but that's all right. Now I'm just anticipating what the food's going to be like on the plane. On this bit, I always pretend I'm in Jurassic Park at the beginning on the, <laughs> the helicopter bit. <laughs> Gotta stay awake now to acclimatize to the time. So we're gonna go out for some dinner. We'll just go somewhere super low key and cash, yeah? Just trying to brighten my face up because it looked like I died a little bit. Do you have a hairbrush handy? Yeah, I do. Is it just, is it ha handy as in here? Because if it's not handy, I'll just go get my one, which is over there. Oh, I like the feel of that one. That's fun. Didn't I have a hoo ha, Marika? You certainly did, my love, but you know what? It's all been fine. Guess who booked the hotel for 2025, not 2024? Me. This hotel. We a year early. Really? <laughs> and another one that we're going to. It's also a year early. But that, I, well, actually, no, I'm not going to blame Booking.com. It is entirely my fault. It was annoying that the search thingy 
will set to 2025, not 2024. And I didn't look. That is just a small minor detail that was my fault, I suppose, for classic Helen not paying attention. But can you fucking blame me? No. Can you blame me? Ooh, complex. <laughs> it looks quite nice, actually, doesn't it? I want a Caesar salad. We basically need somewhere that sells an everything, because usually when there's an everything place, I'll have a Caesar salad on the menu. Imagine if these fountains all came on when we were walking across. Oh my God, no. Quickly, Marika, I'm scared. We made friends with a dog. His name's Louie, he's a kid. So just round the corner from our hotel is a place called Hall, pa Hall Pass, and it is a food hall. So there's lots of different food vendors here and drinks and you just go order and sit down and we're just going to wait for the buzzer to go off and we'll go pick up our thing. We just got some, we'll share those fries. I'm not going to eat them all to myself, I just wanted to eat them. I just wanted some fries. No, you can have more than one, <laughs> but we got Caesar salad. I've ordered some truffle fries and a giant diet. Dr. Pepper. These truffle fries are insane. Then we've got fry sauce, which is essentially ketchup and mayo mixed together. And a Zin salad. That is so good. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. I'm gonna take the risk. Is the fountain going to get me? <laughs> I think I got away with it. I think I got away with it. I'm such a daredevil. Wow, I'm living on the edge. Got me some green tea. Oh, now it's going. Oh, now it's fucking going. The red rocks of Utah and the fountain. Salt Lake City fountain. Uh -huh. Oh my God, it's my name. Jack and oh. Helen. Oh my God. Oh. Shall we go? Let's go to bed. just on the outskirts of Salt Lake City. And we've just stopped at like a little complex to grab some coffee and some food for the trip. We've got about a three hour drive to Moab, which is our first place, our first port of call. So there's a place called Nida's, which is a bakery and cafe. I've ordered a um, cinnamon bun, which I've left with Marika, but I wanted a Starbucks coffee from America because it hits differently than it does at home. So I'm just popping into here. Got pumpkin spice cold brew. I actually had that at home the other day and it was really nice. And then I've got some egg whites, some eggs. Got a cinnamon bun coming from this place. It looks so good. Pick it up and eat it with my mouth. Oh, it's warm. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think they gave you a knife and fork to easily, like, eat it. Oh, wow. Mm. It's so gooey and warm. Mmm. I love you. What, the cinnamon bun yeah. <laughs> and you. <laughs> oh yeah, and you. Yeah. They obviously have been to America so many times to do different trips, but every single time I've been, and I've obviously gone to somewhere different, the landscape is so fucking like different. Mm. I mean, that's all an obvious thing to say, but it's such a vast landscape, and everything is like it's just amazing. I mean. <laughs> Very up Minor Marika Street. Whoa! We're very early, so I'm just probably won't be able to check in just yet. So we'll just have to leave our bags here instead. Some 
lunch at a place called The Garage. Um, and I have a chicken Caesar wrap. It is insane. So good. And Marika's got huge salad. But it's a really cool vibe of a place. This was on the specials board. I've also got a Dr. Pepper Zero. It's very warm. Marika is getting a t-shirt. And we're in this shop where there's like a thousand million designs. And you just pick the design you want and the t-shirt you want. And it gets heat pressed on. We've just come back to the hotel to get changed and wait for our rafting tour. I've got a little cold brew. But this is the outside area of the hotel. It's lush. But then we're going to go river rafting, which is probably going to be hilarious. <laughs> Margarita. A cold beer. beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if only we had some cold beers right now. Yeah. We're not oh. supposed to advertise it, but you guys are allowed to bring your own alcohol. Ah, damn it! Oh, that's a bit light, I, 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 <laughs> I, I know. Telling us now! So, I'm just going to give a little tour of the room. Bear in mind, we have already put our things in it. I've got a mint in my mouth. So, lovely little sink area here. I'm going to towel because my bum's wet. And Marika's in the shower. And um, not weird, we've got this little climbing thing there for people that like to climb and do pull ups. Two double beds and all this bench area, which we've just shoved our stuff. We've got some drawers down there. There's USB sockets in the bench. A little seating bit. Car park's just there. Yeah, it's nice. Proper like adventurer. She's been camping. I liked it. I like it a lot. So upon recommendation, we have come to Spitfire. I've got a shrimp burger, or po' boy. I've got a potato salad and this salad. And then what did you get? I got Southern grits. Southern grits. And also... And the margarita. Oh, and the margarita. You look stunning, baby. Oh, thank you. This place is very cool. This is a smokehouse. It's very cool. And the light, and they've got the... Oh, it just looks so cool. Okay. <gasps> supermarket. I fucking love a supermarket in another country. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Pumpkin bread. Really? Really? Yeah. Spice. Samples. <laughs> Thank you. <so> <gasps> You weren't joking. They're amazing. This is like Christmas in a cookie. Is that nice? Amazing. So good. You sold me. I'm going to buy a box right now. Yep. Yeah. We have a full on hiking day today out in the National Park. Um, but also we're going to a hike before the National Park. So we're just in the supermarket getting our picnic stuff because we're probably not going to be able to eat anything. There's nowhere to get like sandwiches from in the actual park. There's like no, you know. Oh, sandwiches, here we go. Where? Oh, here, they're right here. Boom. That looks good. That's like a croissant. That's a croissant. Yeah, Yeah, I reckon that, that's got, that's good. I'm going to get it. Well, after a pretty overwhelming supermarket experience, which was insane, we've got all our picnic stuff for the day. We're now going to Corona Arch, which is supposed to be one of the mega arches, which no, is... too soon. What? Too oh, yeah. Uh, which isn't in the National Park. So it usually means that there's less people. And um, because we're going just as sun is rising, it's going to be not as hot. I've downloaded the old trails. Uh, map the fucking view here is absolutely wild like the sun is rising and everything is like an amazing pink color pink and orange then it contrasts with the blue like it's insane 
Oh, there's the road. Oh, yay. Our morning hike at the Corona Arch. How many times have you wanted to cry already? Oh, 50. I've downloaded the trail on all trails because there's not good signal out here. It's better to be safe than sorry. It's insane and it's so quiet out here. Well, it was quiet until we arrived. No, we can't. We have the capabilities of being peaceful, don't we, Marika? We just we just get excited when we're around each other. So, so I've got my little snack from the plane. They're like, "Hey, do you want mine? I don't want mine." We made friends with people on the plane on the in the last like two hours. We were just chatting <laughs> to everybody. <sighs> they must have cut it out to get the train through. Whoa. Oh my god, this is such a like a picture from a western. <gasps> This is insane, Marika. This is crazy. Oh I'll get out of the way. You get it, you get it. Bowtie Arch, Corona Arch. This is the canyon. It's insane, isn't it? Unbelievable. I feel like I'm in Tomb Raider right now. <laughs> this is so incredible. Watching this vlog, because believe me, I watched a ton of vlogs before I came here to get an idea for the place and do some research. And nothing you see on screen will ever do anything justice. It's I can't even! <laughs> it's insane! That was, this is sensational. We're gonna head back to the car now. Probably go grab some breakfast from somewhere before we go into oh, the proper big national park. Yeah, it is more. <laughs> it is more. We, I mean, like, we're jet lagged, so we've been up since 3 a.m. So. Uh, we, we started the walk when it was rising. Okay. So, it's just like, we drove here and it was like, then we started walking, we, but we've been taking loads of pictures and stuff, yeah, so, so probably yeah, like this hike <laughs> take us like, yeah, you gotta enjoy it. yeah, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. So basically with the national park, yeah. um, if you go in, I think it's at seven before seven, you don't, you, you can get in without needing a reservation or a permit. Um, but because obviously it's peak time, you have to have a, um, like a uh, like a timed entrance. So when I booked pre-booked it, I got a slot for ele between eleven and twelve. So that's when we have to go to the national park. But you know, it's one of those things. It's it's Archer's National Park. It's it's got to be it's got to be seen and done. Um. So we've got about uh, I don't know how long it's going to take us to walk back. It'll probably be faster because we're not, we're not stopping. Now. Yeah. So forty minutes. Yeah. Let's say that, and then it'll be it's quarter past nine now. So we could. Grab something quick for breakfast in town? Yeah. If you want it. We've got a London fog each, a nice London fog. Which, what was your first? Do you like it? I love it. So good, isn't it? 
So bad. I got two, but I'm not obviously going to eat them all now. What did you get? I got the blueberry, vegan blueberry sparkles. And I got a oh chocolate God. one. <laughs> oh, that's titch. Titch. <laughs> Mm. Chocolate headed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was, oh my God. I think this is the best chocolate donut really? I've ever had. Looks like it. The delicate arch hike which is like one of the sort of more popular routes this is a narrow bit which is exciting i feel like we're on pride rock yeah. <laughs> it's so cool we've got our water staying hydrated that's not it is it no. it's gonna say don't come all up here or this way up here for that <laughs> what's around this bend let's have a look oh wow Oh my goodness. Wow. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, oh wow, yes. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. There it is. Sick. Right, so I've got a Capri turkey wrap that I got from the shop. And I'm just sat down here without the, the camera. I mean, I could film the, the arch in the background, but it's the camera's gonna blow away. I have one camera. Mm. I don't want the full package. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have some petroglyphs, basically ancient pictures carved into stone. It says these could have been here for hundreds or even thousands of years by American Indians. American Indians treasure rock markings like these because they are, were carved by their ancestors hundred to thousand years ago. The car's just over there, so we're gonna go back. Rika's just ahead of me because she wants to get some more water. That's decent, that's a good walk. Been warm, but we've just been chugging away. So that's good. I think this time of day is less popular because of the heat and the fear of, you know, dehydrating, heat stroke, all of that, which is probably, you know, quite sensible, to be honest. There's still people going up though, even now. <laughs> So after spending the after well after spending all day essentially hiking and being in the national park, we are spending the late afternoon at the hotel at the pool. I'm having a beer. Uh, Marika's made friends. I've already I've splashed around. I've done a lot of swimming. I've been underground. You know it's a small pool, but one end's three foot and the other end's eight foot. So I was going. I was like swimming up and down. It was brilliant. I had a great time. And then I sat in the hot tub and uh, chatted to this guy from Texas who's also in the Air Force and we're just chatting about life. That was great. But Marika's made friends. Um, I have a charcuterie board because in the state of Utah, you cannot buy alcohol without buying food. So like, you don't have to buy a bit of food every time you want to drink, but you have to buy something food related before you can buy a drink. So now I've bought my charcuterie. <gasps> now I've got my charcuterie board. I could technically go and have another beer. Give me a wave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> leaving today to go to Monument Valley but we are just spending the morning here we're doing breakfast and then we're gonna go to the supermarket to get a few little more bits 
and we're just going to pop into a few of the shops that we were looking around the other day because there was a couple of things I was like, oh, actually, I really love that. Um, but we're at a place called Cactus Jacks and it's one of those menus which is so good, I'm really overwhelmed and I've just been going ah, like that for a few minutes. Um, I don't know what to do with myself. It's like my kind of breakfast. I've got like, oh, well, there's ranchos, there's like French toast, there's chicken and waffles, there's omelette bowls. Everything just looks so good and I don't know what to do. Like, I wish I had like multiple mouths and stomachs so I could try everything at once. <laughs> I love a Huevas Ranchos, but I, I get that quite a lot, but it's on the menu, so I'm just like, do I try something that I've not had before? But then I don't know, I, feel, I like I like the freshness of like Mexican breakfast, like with the kind of pico de gallo and pico, that's how you say it, westernish omelette, veggie omelette, I am. I went for Huevas Ranchos, Rancho Antio, Huevas Ranchos, I can't pronounce it, I'm terribly sorry. Um, and Marika's gone for some breakfast tacos, which look insane. It's massive. I'll try and yeah. first. It is beautiful food. The trail we go. Look at these trees. I love all the little cactuses on the floor. Very cute. I don't even know how to describe this place other than it's just so cool. Wow. It's not definitely not cool, Zin. It's very, very hot. We both got changed out the back of the car because uh, uh, denim leopard print shorts are not really what I want to be oh, I hiking in. Yeah, well, they, they're probably fine. It's just the ones I was wearing when, I was wearing denim shorts yesterday, they were fine. I think it was just, they were quite thick denim, my ones. Oh, the canyon lands. Oh my God. There's the arch. Archie. Archie. Lovely arch. We are now, we are now at Grand Point, which is basically the most epic viewpoint. That's risky business. Whoa! It almost looks like these rocks have been like purposefully built because they're just so, they're just, they're so, they look so like, per, almost perfect. They look like they've been built because of the shape mm. of them. Or like a big foot or a hand has been imprinted like that. Yeah. Clay. Maybe it was a giant. Big foot. Once upon a time when giants rode the world. Isn't that the road there as well? Like fucking hell. Yeah. Holy Although you can hear the cars, like, quiet. I know. Why are any birds? You expect maybe bird traffic or something, at least. I know. Apart from the crows and the eagles. Mm. Like, look at that thing over there, them spiky things. Mm. You know what? Simba. Everything the light touches is arc, yeah. you know? So I bet without Jeepers, we can just go to Ellen. Yeah. I think these roads down there, people do drive them. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I just Definitely. imagine just paragliding over here or skydiving or. Oh my god. Am I getting lost down there? Mm. Completely. No one can hear you. No one can hear you scream in the desert. My tummy feels funny. Does it? In a nice way. Oh. In a I'm hot way. Oh, that's good. And I always, my tummy feels tickly when I get too hot. Like I get it when I go in a mm, sauna yeah. or, in a, or a hot bath. Also that mountain where it looks a bit like a car. 
does, doesn't it? Yeah, I think also a bit of energy drink. Like, my stomach is like, yeah, lovely. Is it? You're hungry? I'm still hungry? Yeah. Well, you did eat some seaweed. Let me just get a cool photo of this. Oh, a fly went up my nostril. You're getting a picture of the feet? Yeah, so cool. Do we need to hold them up a no, bit? No, Are you sure? Because yeah. don't make me do that because that hurts my abs. Oh my god! <gasps> okay. I'm standing. Whoa, it's so far down. Hang on, I'll go here. She got the shot. Is this making you nervous, Marika? Okay, it's all right. I'm I'm alive. That would be a cool way to do I moonwalked off a canyon. <laughs> hole in the rock. What's that? Wow. Where is the hole? Oh, there it is. What? That? I guess so. I don't know. Where is it? I love there's a big arrow and we're like, where is it? <laughs> Coffee machine. Well, look, there's the gas station. I was worried that we were going to run out of petrol. Okay. There's one right there. This is amazing. Oh and this, this is our view. Oh. <gasps> the size of that pickle out of the club sandwich and then fries then fries just look so peng and we've got ranch Marika had never tried ranch before this trip and I said you have to try ranch and now she's ordering all the ranch all the time with half her half chicken yum <laughs> wait this is the forest gump point and these are a load of photographers doing their thing. And the sun is coming up over there. Marika's making friends as per. Oh, that's lovely. That's not a bad course, isn't it? Look yeah, at that. You should go to Valley whilst you're... <laughs> wow. wow. This is insane. No, no, no. We did our touristy pictures at the Forest Gump Point because we had to. Now we're at, now we're at a ranch and the lady is very quiet. So yeah, we're being very quiet. should be quiet. And also the quiet, quiet beanies, aren't they? Mm -hmm. But look, we're going to go and do a little horseback ride. With what a backdrop, eh? I know, this is insane. If anyone wants to say hi to a horse, but I suppose we'll be sitting on one soon so we can yeah. say hi to that horse. <laughs> well, we both got on the horse pretty easy, to be fair. Of cookies with us. 
to have after the horse ride. And they're so good. Oh. <laughs> no. We also got a coffee too. I'm actually shivering. It's quite cold out here, isn't it? It's very windy. <laughs> We've had quite a nice little chill time on the balks with nibbles. Um, just kind of sitting silently in each other's company, which is what good friends can do, you know? Right? But we're, coming, we're going for a walk now. It's quite chill here in Monument Valley. Like, it's just, it's a chill place to be. It's really interesting, but like, being here is just enough, you know? So, we're coming out for a little afternoon stroll. It is rock, oh, a rock. Oh. I can feel that heat on my arms. It didn't yeah. feel this so hot earlier, did it? No, no, it's definitely going up a few degrees. I've changed my outfit for the 25th time today. So we're over here. We're going to find a little arch. At the arch. It's right there. Goulding's Arch. We've just been hanging out up here. In this little area. And uh, you can see the hotel. It's down there. There it is. <laughs> We've had a chill, pretty chill day actually. It's been pretty good. I got a migraine though this afternoon, so I had to reside to my bed for a bit. And Marika was playing, making friends with the stray dogs, weren't you? Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just been for some dinner at the little restaurant. It was delish. And we're now packing up our things. Because tomorrow we're heading to Zion. This is so typical of me and Marika. We get down to sit and watch the sunrise, or last time the sun set, and we get a bloody cloud. I tell you what, we'll get up early and watch the sunrise over the rocks of our, of our coffee on the balcony, and it'll be lush. Um, but we're so <laughs> Hey, but, but you know what, you know what, you know what? It's still beautiful though, isn't it? We can't complain. I mean, look at that. When are we ever gonna w wake up to us that sunset? Never again, unless we come back, which we might do, you never know. <laughs> do you know what? Say. We might never come back here though. That is true. Because yeah, it's so far away. Keep <laughs> <laughs> <Give> me. <laughs> We're doing the nav the Monument Valley Scenic Drive, which is basically a dirt track, a bumpy as hell dirt track through the valley. And um, you can pay for a private, like an actual tour with a guide, which will take you off-road, like proper more off-road and some like, um, to some like, like Navajo places. Um, but we just thought we'd just do the normal drive and you definitely need a four by four to do this. Um, but it's so cool. <laughs> We've got our four by four Jeep. So we're bouncing around. Um, and this is our early morning activity. We just watched the sunrise. So when we've done with our little bouncy, bouncy ride, we shall um, uh, go and have some breakfast. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, caution, loose gravel. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> oh wow, this is absolutely insane. Maybe we need to stop at one point. Yeah, we should. East Mitten, this is called. 
No, West Mitten. Oh, look, they do like little mittens, don't they? Oh, no. They're the same. Yeah, but, but that's what I called um, Moby Dick one. Moby Dick's girlfriend. Wow. So there's the three sisters. I think it looks like a long pair of saggy boobies. Um, and then camel. This is called the camel. And, oh my goodness. So there's a horse tour ride. There's some horse, more horsey stuff over here. That would have been fun through, through here. But this is just so much fun. I'm having so much fun riding the car around. <sighs> Before we go on our humongous road trip today, we're having some breakfast and it's proper. I love this. I absolutely love the Goulding's Lodge cafeteria. Or like restaurant is so like old school home style like cozy i've got french toast um when you get that with it goodbye goldings goodbye <laughs> for your meals tours and gift shop and the views and the very comfortable beds but we're now en route to zion via horseshoe bend at the grand canyon so we've got a day on the road. I shall see you in next week's vlog where we're going to be adventuring around Zion and Las Vegas! Las Vegas!